What's going on Subway Surfers? Today we're back on the surface to take a look around the future Millican Station. Located in Toronto on the Stovall GO train line, this station on the border with Markham will become a major station on the regional express rail, offering convenient access to nearby developments. We visited the station this past month to check in on the construction and get an understanding of the scope of this project. I'm Zach with Vanish Underground and let's take a look. Millican Station is located roughly 20 kilometers northeast of downtown Toronto in Scarborough. The station site, located on Steeles Avenue east of Kennedy, will be serviced by frequent all-day GO trains on the Stovall line. As part of this service expansion, a new east platform is being constructed, which along with renovations to the existing west platform, will allow for two tracks to run through the station. New pedestrian tunnels under the tracks were recently constructed including elevators for accessibility purposes. On the platform, canopies and heated shelters will provide cover for waiting passengers and shelter from the elements during the winter. At the north end of the station, new pedestrian bridges are being constructed across Steeles Avenue, providing access from both platforms to the north side of the street. This is being undertaken in conjunction with the great separation of Steeles Avenue, which will allow cars and pedestrians to path underneath the train tracks and reduce delays by eliminating the need for crossing arms. With construction progressing well, the improvements are on track to be completed by the end of 2022. Unlike other GO stations, Millican does not contain a bus loop, with TTC routes 43 Kennedy and 53 Steeles East formally stopping on street at the railway tracks. Nearby, TTC routes 953 Steeles Express and the 57 Midland also serve as stops, allowing passengers to connect to the GO train. York Region Transit also stops nearby, with Route 8 Kennedy ending 400 metres west of the northern entrance to the station. A dedicated off-street transit facility may be constructed in the area, however, with work underway on a new development on the north side of the station site. The Remington Centre, a new 74,000 square metre shopping mall, is proposed to include some dedicated facilities for buses, which might result in some of the routes terminating in the area being redirected to the site. While it is unclear exactly what this will entail, Preliminary renderings and plans seem to suggest dedicated bus bays within the interior of the mall roadway, similar to the Niagara on the Lake Outlet Mall in Niagara region. Renderings also seem to indicate the presence of a bus-only roadway, running from Kennedy Road to about 140 metres north of Steeles Avenue. This could possibly be used to provide layovers for YRT Route 8, as well as TDC Routes 43 and 57, to reduce the need for them to stop on street as well as provide more convenient access to the future Mega Mall. While this will most likely open after the upgrades to Millican Station are complete, these new transit facilities will help to provide a convenient transfer point between the various routes ending in the area. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the future Millican Station. Once construction of the station is complete, click the button in the top right corner of this video for footage from the opening day. Feel free to leave a like and a comment if you want to see more. And that's for us here, we'll be Vanishing Underground, until the next one.